Should we buy or sell iRobot? First off, read this disclaimer carefully and do your deed of the day by liking and subscribing. So we have iRobot under a theme that I call Mobile Robots. Uh, average 22% from the 52 week low. Um, they have been through a very substantial minus 48% pullback deep into bear market territory. Looking at iRobot, um, basically at, you know, the 52 week lows, minus 66% pullback. So yeah, um, it's at a, at a level where it makes sense to look for bullish opportunities. Here is the company's website. Uh, they make very good uh, robots. Um, you know, that, you know, help you with a bunch of stuff, you know, even stuff like cleaning your pool and uh, see here they have their robot vacuums and they also have robot mops. So yes, uh, I definitively think that, you know, the future is uh, robots. Uh, looking at, you know, the stock, uh, weekly data points, big picture. I did find these time cycles that have been pretty re reliable. Uh, we see here that during this previous time cycle, uh, you, we did have this, uh, you know, to within. So let's draw it in like that, approximately. Uh, you see that uh, it worked back here, it worked here, uh, here even, and to some extent here. So you could make the case that in the small time cycle, it is the declining phase of the time cycle is ending, ending and the rising phase is about to begin. So that's interesting from a more bullish perspective. So the time cycle suggests here that, you know, it's it's not it's an interesting time to consider iRobot. Uh, currently, the bears are doing a lot of damage. Uh, there is a selling afoot uh, for sure on the weekly data points. Going here to the dailies, uh, we are at, you know, a pretty darn low level. Uh, there is potentially some horizontal uh, support, support. So let's draw that in. You could argue that there's some support, you know, back here, even here. Um, but yeah, uh, there's no doubt about it. You know, the bears have been pretty vicious. Uh, then again, this is a long-term trend. Uh, you could even start to draw in uh, some pattern here. So let's draw it in. Maybe this is a very, very, okay. It became a bit ugly. So let's draw that again. A, a major potential inverse head and shoulders pattern, a big fat head and potentially this pullback is that right shoulder. That's a bullish technical pattern. When we look at you know, these other indicators, as uh, so looking here at you know, the RSI um, and looking in you know, a way back here into the past, uh, we were more oversold back here. Um, so that was, so th there, we have been lower in the past. That's something we have to respect. The previous time we had this current RSI level is back here that formed a very key low. Uh, back here we got a bit a bit of a bounce. Uh, if we go even further back, during this region here, you can see here also in, at you know the RSI level vis a vis the price, it formed a very key low. The distance from the 20 week moving average to some extent the 50 week moving average. Yeah, we are at, you know, a very low level. And also here, the, the 200 week moving average, this kind of level has formed lows in the past. When we go to the daily data points, looking at, you know, the daily RSI, we had the current RSI level back here. It did create a bit of a bounce. If we go a bit further back, back here, we did get, you know, a rally. Uh, looking at the, the, the distance from the 20 week moving average in purple, and the green 50 week and also blue 100 week moving average this current reading has had a tendency to form lows but to be perfectly clear the bears are obviously in control but looking at you know the longer term history you know it's it's, it's in the past these readings have also formed lows looking at correlations 27% long term with the S&P 500, 42-ish percent with uh, the robotics ETF, Robo, 42% with uh, the ARK Innovation, Kathy Woods ETF, 
and then minus 53% with the dollar index, short term, minus 60% with the S&P 500, minus 41% with the robotics ETF, 19% positive with the innovation ETF, and minus 74% strongly negative with the dollar index. When we look at the seasonality, so over the, the over the last five years, December has been one of the stronger months, and January is the strongest month. The last ten years, yeah, uh, December closes higher sixty percent of the time, and the January is the, is the strongest, uh, with an average nine percent gain. And looking at the last seventeen years, December and the January are historically some of the strongest months for iRobot. That's bullish. Looking at Finvis, uh, we did uh, slash through this uh, trend line. Um, that's unfortunate. Uh, looking at you know the performance here, you know it, it is down substantially, minus sixteen percent year to date. Looking at SAX, uh, number three hold, but we do have a C value score, and this is you know a robotics it no a, a robotics stock. Okay, robotics stock, so super high tech, and it's there's some value here. F growth, the momentum, industry rank top 47%, industrial automation and robotics. No dividend, 1.8 billion in market cap. Let's look at the insiders. Uh, so the latest moves, uh, that is, uh, you know, from early no uh, November. Uh, we did see a bunch of selling here. So there's, yeah, I mean, we have to go way back here to to April to see some buying. So uh, the insiders that have definitively not been helping out uh, the stock. Uh, looking here at you know, the consensus estimates. Then we do see that you know the average price target is 29% above, that's bullish. Uh, the highest is 49% above and the, the lowest, the lowest is 10% above the current stock price. So the analysts are definitively feeling the love for iRobot. So to sum up, from a technical perspective, we could make a, make a contrarian bullish take given the history. We had the time cycles as well that were you know a bit bullish. Uh, we also had you know that potential inverse head and shoulders pattern, which is bullish. Seasonality is bullish. Uh, the fundamentals also are bullish, except for the insiders that are not doing anything to help out the stock. But I would lean more bullish than bearish. I think that the long-term picture for robotics is very bullish, and it's nice to get a, a low entry.